the Kids Brain Health Network conference had hired him to paint paintings for the guest speaker. And this is amazing for, for us because it's so meaningful. This, giving back to his, um, you know, the autism community. And uh, he was very proud to paint the favorite animals of Dr. Rosenbaum and uh, the other speakers, the amazing speakers. So For sure. Yeah. And uh, it's really a, a demonstration of inclusive hiring because, you know, they could have bought, uh, you know, another type of uh, recognition gift, but they've decided to hire an autistic artist, someone with uh, a neurodevelopmental disability to to provide the gift for the, um, the conference. So we're very proud. Benjamin was diagnosed with autism when he was three years old. And uh, I've, I, I'll be honest, it, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it, we, we had... Um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, we had a lot of challenges, and so organizations like Kids Brain Health Network, they are instrumental in having um, you know uh, us parents, caregivers, um, be uh, part of the the policy in, in in Canada. We don't always have a say in in things, but uh, through our collaboration with organizations like Kids Bring Health Network, we do, you know, we do have a voice. So that's just what I mean, that, you know, your organization welcomes Benjamin as he is. And it's so heartwarming for me as a mother because there's a lot of joy that Benjamin has um, that he has to share with the world. And you give us an opportunity to share that joy. And we're very appreciative of that. Because he really is, um, you know, he has a lot of of, uh, of things to say about what's important to him, which is the animals, and you're giving us that opportunity. Because I'm an animal lover, an animal knower, <laughs> and I am passionate with all creatures, great and small. Well, the Kids Brain Health Network conference was very fun to do. I had a lot of things to sell and a lot of animals to make for everyone. He made almost 200 animals at the conference.